Hey guys, I'm back with a top 10 thrifting finds of all time. <laughs> now I found some really great stuff I wanted to show you and some of them are in categories together so I, I'm just going to jump right in. I'm really excited to show you some of my favorite things that I have found at yard sales and thrift stores so let's get right in. The first thing I have found that I really love are paintings. I found this one at a yard sale. It's a really large one, very large and it looks, the frame looks um, antique, but it's a really beautiful painting. I have it in my bedroom and I paid, I think I paid $15 for it. This is years ago, but I just love paintings. Um, that are, I think the, the woman that I bought it from said she painted it herself. So, you know, something like that for 15 bucks is a great deal. I think it looks like an Italian coastline and just the pretty, pretty flowers and it's just so lovely and it's pretty large actually. Um, but that I got for 20 bucks and that's a pretty good deal for Kirkland's. So great to pay not much for <laughs> decor. I know we have so many walls in our houses and to pay full price for art and for things like that, it just seems like such a waste. But so I, whenever I can find something that is substantial, large for a good price, I definitely pick it up. The next thing I want to show you are kind of a collection I have of cookbooks. These are Julia Child cookbooks and my mom actually picked up several of these at thrift stores. She travels, my, my parents travel across the country and anytime she finds me a cookbook from Julia Child, it's usually from a thrift store. But this one is Julia Child, The Way to Cook. I don't know how much she paid for these, but I'm sure it was not very much. This one is from Julia Child Kitchen. I have a full, my full uh, collection is on my cookbook video that I recently put out, so you can check that out. But this is Julia's menus for special occasions, which is, this is really nice, especially if you have something coming up, there's like a full menu of what to do. And the last one that my mom has bought for me is Baking with Julia. So my mom actually picked up these. The ones I picked up, I purchased from Barnes & Noble. I picked up two of there and then another one um, online. So yeah cookbooks can get so expensive so if you can find them at thrift stores you definitely have to dig through them but check it out because you can get some really nice uh, cookbooks from some of your favorite chefs for a fraction of the cost I found this American Flyer travel case this was right at the register and I looked online you know a lot of these things that I'm showing you today are worth way more than I paid um, and this American Flyer was kind of full of um, a bunch of travel stuff. I kind of keep that in there just so I have it on the ready when we need to go out of town. But it has pockets. It has a separate divider. So there's like three different compartments in here. And I picked this up for when we go on, you know, on any trip. My husband and I can just use this for all our toiletries and things like that. And I'm pretty sure I paid five dollars for this thing, which um, I looked up this brand and definitely goes for more. Um, I was in the <laughs> checkout and the person behind me was like, I can't believe you found that. When I was um, in high school, I worked at a tea room and they had teapots and teacups. And so I'm gonna, the next couple things I'm gonna show you are those kind of things. Um, I worked there for several years and I really enjoyed it. I picked up two teapots when I went to Ireland and in Ireland, their thrift stores are called charity shops. I love that. So my mom and I went into one of those and I found this beautiful teapot. And it is such a nice teapot, beautifully painted. It's fruits and flowers made by Royal Tudor, Stoke Trent, England. It's just a, such a lovely teapot. And this is one of my favorite ones. It was a little nerve wracking uh, taking this home on the plane, but anyway, it was really worth it. And I believe I paid two euro for it, which is a really good deal. I was very surprised to find that for only two euro. And then I found this one as well when I was in Ireland. And I love this traditional brown teapot. It's very um, English. This is by Arthur Wood. I don't know how much these are worth, but to me, they're priceless because um, of where they came from and um, just the traditional kind of teapots. This one you would use for coffee or hot chocolate and um, I paid two, one or two euro for that. I have two different styles to show you. This one is my most recent find from Goodwill and I believe I paid 225 for this. 
but it's the Royal Craft Grafton Fine Bone China made in England and um, I just love this pattern I was only able to find one in this pattern but if I had been able to find like eight of them I would have been like over the moon <laughs> but yeah this is just a really beautiful set and I'm just gonna show you in just a moment all of my teacups and saucers um, my collection that I have but this is the second one and this is actually um, also from England J and G Meekin and Hathaway's Cottage. This is the um, style and I purchased three of these at a thrift store. Um, very beautiful and when I have a tea I like to, to have mixed matched cups and saucers. Sometimes I'll do mixed match, sometimes I'll do matching. But anyway, um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for these. I think I got three cups and saucers for like six dollars or something. Um, but yeah, I love picking up cups and saucers and being a little bit more picky with the colors that I get now because I, I tend to go for blue and then pink and stuff. So I'm trying to be a little bit more choosy with what I, what I get. Next thing that I got at a thrift store, which I absolutely love, I got this several years back, but it is um, St. Helen's Ashware. And if you look on eBay, there's a whole bunch of figurines that are made from St. Mount St. Helen or whatever it is. Um, I, I had a little paper in here telling me all about it, but if you look online, you can um, find the figurines and they're really beautiful. And I love horses, uh, especially when I was younger. And when I saw this beautiful figurine, I just had to get it. And um, it's just so pretty and I just, love the detailing on it and stuff so definitely check that out if you're interested in this kind of thing um, it's a beautiful gift to give someone and you can if you like to collect them there's a whole bunch online I know I've shown you this before it's actually a recent find um, on the bottom it says Marquis by Canterford and I love putting little arrangements in, in these little vases but this is a vase that I, I looked online and it was about uh, I think it was about $30 25 to $30 so I paid a dollar 25 for it and it's just a beautiful vase I just think it's so pretty and you know it could be worth more I don't know it's hard to really research effectively effectively online because you can't really go by the prices that people charge for some of these things you kind of have to research it with a antiques dealer or whatever and then another vase recently that I picked up I picked up, I think there's five or six of these little vases, polka dot vases, and there's no uh, brand, but I got five of them for $3.25, and I just love the polka dot style. I just think it's so pretty. Went to Goodwill, and I found a big basket full of shells, and they were not chipped. They were not broken. They were just a gorgeous collection of shelves shells and I actually got this little container too from Goodwill. All these shells, I except for these, my mom gave me these, but a lot of these shells um, were in the collection and I have them in three separate containers in my restroom and I will show you them. But look at all these gorgeous shells that I got for only $5. These shells here my mom gave me, but all the rest of them were purchased for five dollars which is such a good deal because if when I go to Virginia Beach near where I live um, to buy shells individually is so expensive and it's hard to find shells that are you know intact <laughs> for um, on the beach and things it's really hard so this is this collection I, I got for five dollars and you know it's just a beautiful beautiful collection I did put little rocks in the bottom but that's how I have them displayed thing I want to show you is my Curier and Ives collection. This collection my husband and I have started together when we got married. I really loved Curier and Ives. I love the blue and white plates and so my husband the day or two before we got married maybe a week before he went to a thrift store and filled a box with it and brought it back to me. I was so excited and a lot of the pieces that he got that day we have in our collection now and we have all different kind of uh, Curier and Ives and I believe they, are, they were made in the U.S., sold in um, th in grocery stores. You could like buy different pieces, different weeks or whatever, as promotional items and things. So I love Curier and Ives. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 
just wait and see. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing for my collection is a butter dish and a teapot. This is one of my favorite things that we've ever found at thrift stores. And unfortunately in Virginia, I haven't been able to find that that much of this. So mainly in New England, I was able to find a lot of these things and some antique stores. Some of these pieces like these platters are more rare and the casserole when you go into the antique stores, like a, this platter could be $25 to $40, depending on who's selling it. So, I mean, originally they were not that expensive, but now they're antiques and we, we use them for every day wear. We use them, you know, like if we have company, I'll take them out and use them. And um, yeah, we really enjoyed this set. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this, my top 10 favorite thrifting items. I really enjoyed sharing them with you. And um, yeah, just some things and treasures that I found at thrift stores that I love and probably won't ever get rid of. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more of these top 10 videos. I'm gonna be putting several of these out in the future.